So now we're on to the fifth type and the last type that we really get into in, in honors chemistry. In AP, there's something like 21 types of reactions that you'll have to know. And I go through them very, very, very extensively so that you really know everything you're supposed to be doing. But here we're going to stick to five. So the fifth one is hands down the most fun because it's combustion. Okay, so combustion, of course, when we think of combustion, we immediately think fire, excellent fire, explosions, fun stuff. Okay, now let's see, there are two different types of combustion reactions. I'm going to show you, but they have the same component in both of them. The thing that you must remember is in a combustion reaction, remember it's fire. So fire needs oxygen in order to burn. If it doesn't have oxygen, it's not going to burn. Therefore, it can't combust. So obviously all of your combustion reactions are going to involve oxygen as a reactant. Okay. Some people like to get weird and throw it in as a product. Not going to happen. Must be a reactant. Okay. You have to supply oxygen in order to get the fire to burn. So first of all, let's talk about just regular everyday combustion. This is an example of a regular everyday combustion. Hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas yields water. Notice plus O2. Okay. Now, how do I know that this is a combustion reaction? Well, because I know a little background on hydrogen, and I remember the Hindenburg, and I know that the Hindenburg exploded, and therefore there must obviously have been oxygen present, and it was producing combustion. Now, what type of water? It's usually water vapor. It's not water. It's not liquid water. So. When you burn this, you don't usually see it raining afterwards. Everyone thinks, oh, it's water. There must be like, it must be like a splash, like a water balloon. No, it doesn't work like that. It's water vapor, so we really don't see the water that's coming out of this. But this is an example of a combustion reaction. Now, do not get confused. This is not combustion. Now, pause the video and look at that reaction. And when you look at this reaction, ask yourself, okay, why? It says plus O2, but why is this not a combustion reaction? So pause the video now and think about it for 30 seconds. Good. So now you've paused the video, you've thought about it, and you said, okay, iron, iron, iron. Why is iron combining with oxygen not combustion? What is made of iron? Well, nails are made of iron. Cars are made of iron. Buildings are made of iron. What is iron two, um, Fe2O3? Well, iron two oxide, iron three oxide, is also known as, that's right, rust. When a car rusts, does it burst into flames? No. Does your bicycle burst into flames when you when it rusts? No. Buildings? No. Ships? No. Nails? No. That would suck for your houses. So these things that are made of iron, when they rust, when they oxidize, when they combine with oxygen, they form rust. And they don't burn. So this is the point of my example is you have to think about these chemical reactions logically. What do I know about this substance and can I decide whether or not it is going to be combustion or if you look at this, it's also a composition reaction. That's right. Notice both of them are composition reactions. Many combustion reactions are composition reactions. Some of them are not. And I'm going to show you an example. So all regular combustion reactions are going to be composition reactions because they very often tip, will only create one product versus type 2, which is a hydrocarbon combustion. Okay, now let's think about a hydrocarbon combustion. You're like, what the heck is a hydrocarbon? Well, obviously, hydro would imply hydrogen and carbon would involve carbon. So we're looking for something, compounds that have both hydrogen and carbon in them as their primary components. For example, oh, I'm sorry, and the, what's going to happen is anytime you take a hydrocarbon and, and burn it, you will produce carbon dioxide and H2O. Always. These will be the two products. So if I give you a hydrocarbon, like methane, notice made of hydrogen and carbon, when it burns, it's going to produce CO2 and H2O. Okay? Always. No exceptions. All hydrocarbon combustions produce CO2 and H2O. The oxygen goes with the carbon and the oxygen goes with the, so the oxygen goes to carbon and the oxygen goes to hydrogen individually. Notice that's where the products come from, CO2 and H2O. Okay. Now, in a regular combustion, these are also composition reactions. In a hydrocarbon combustion, they are none of the other types. 
oxygen is not a compound technically so it's not a double replacement reaction because it's not like the oxygen is replacing something in the hydrocarbon it's not a single replacement reaction because it's definitely not replacing one thing in the hydrocarbon it's going to both it's not decomposition because it's there's more than one thing on the reactant side and it's not a composition reaction because there's more than one thing on the product side okay so notice that hydrocarbon combustions are their own category regular combustion can sometimes overlap okay, so just be careful of the difference between the two regular also sometimes composition hydrocarbon by itself it'll always be by itself okay so let's go through some examples here's what I'm gonna do I am going to po uh, show you all of them I'll let you work out the solution I want you to pause the video and then I'm gonna show you how to figure it out so went too fast you've got N2 plus H2 yields NH3 AL plus FeO yields Al2O3 plus Fe PBNO32 plus PBO I'm sorry PBNO32 yields PBO plus NO2 plus O2. CHH18 plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. So pause the video now. Identify the four reactions that are going on. They're either going to be composition, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, combustion as your five types. And once you're done with that, start up the video and I will show you how to answer the questions. Okay, so hopefully you have the answer to all four of them. So N2 plus H2. Obviously, you're looking at this going, okay, I've got an element plus an element yields one specific compound. Obviously, I'm forming one thing in the, reactor, in the reaction, so it is going to be composition. Good. Al plus FeO. I've got a single substance plus a compound forming a compound and a single substance. Okay, well, let's break down what happened here. The Al came in and reacted with the O to form Al2O3, shot the Fe out. That would obviously be single replacement. Good. Third one, PBNO32 is my only reactant. It's breaking down into a whole bunch of other stuff. Well, obviously, anytime something breaks down, it is going to be decomposition. And then my last one, C8H18, which if anyone doesn't know, is octane, like the thing in gasoline, plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. Well, I see plus O2, that should be a dead giveaway. Now I look at this and I say, okay, well, is it? are they combining together to form one thing? No, they're not. The oxygen is going to everything. Therefore, obviously, it must be combustion, specifically hydrocarbon. This example is actually going to be both types of combustion in one video. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, a simple reaction. And in my test tube, I've got a clear liquid. And to my clear liquid, I'm actually going to add some magnesium turnings again. And when I do that, you'll notice bubbles are created. And what I'm doing here is I'm running a single replacement reaction. And then that single replacement reaction is magnesium and hydrochloric acid. And it's producing hydrogen gas. Now, as we know from our discussion of hydrogen, hydrogen gas is flammable. Now, here is an example of hydrocarbon combustion. Okay, I've got a piece of wood. Wood is made of hydrocarbons. It's currently burning. I know, not what you were looking for. But... Being produced in this, in this test tube is hydrogen gas. And if I do this right, when I bring this flame to the top of that, I'm going to combust my hydrogen, which will be an example of a simple combustion. So here I've got hydrocarbon combustion, and now I'm going to make a simple combustion. And you heard that little popping sound. And that little popping sound is a uh, little vacuum that's created when the hydrogen gas burns off inside the test tube. Now I'm going to try and cover the top. It's not too hot. I'm going to try and build up some of that hydrogen gas, because sometimes the hydrogen escapes too quickly from us from me. So I'm going to let a good amount of hydrogen gas build up on the top and it's getting quite warm because it's an exothermic reaction. And so, and I'm going to try it again, uh, small little pop. And that's an example that's those are two examples of hydro uh, of combustion, both hydrocarbon, the wood burning and non-hydrocarbon, the hydrogen gas popping. 